So we're at 1019 AM. We climbed above 60 bucks. You saw early this morning, we trade down to a low of about 59.45, back up to 60.20, and we're trading right at $60. Nice thing, jumping over an 8X, $60 happens to line up whether you want the 11 a.m. expirations, Pretty good. the noon expirations, okay. or we're going to get the 2.30 expirations. So this will be nice. We'll jump through and hopefully it stays right. We're within two pennies right now at $60. So we're going to look at setting up two sides of the trade, right? Volatility, maybe exposure on each side. You have the contract trading at 60.02. This would be your bullish spread for 11 a.m. from 60 to 61.50. You got about three pennies of intrinsic value there, costing you 17 and vice versa. Same thing, 11 a.m. expiration, buck 50 to the downside. You're selling that one. The only difference between the two being that you have about three to four pennies on the bullish side, and so you're looking at about $30, yeah, which is 30 cents, right, away from 60 bucks pretty good. for your 11 a.m.s. Right. Okay, jump to the noons. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, not bad. And let's just see how much more they're going to charge you. See, so it's been laying here at this 59.60 for five days now, so this is interesting, man. Now, this is where, okay, so about 21 on the um, bullish, and that's gonna, and the bearish is gonna be a little bit cheaper as we tick back. 20. 20. Let's just 20 and 20. It's not bad. 40 bucks. No, so you're looking at right. 40 cents till noon. Right. Um, now these, you have a buck 50 on either side, right? Now the daily is gonna be a big one that you're gonna have $5. Not bad. Because um, you're not gonna have to pay a lot of premium for that extra $3.50. Most of what you're paying for is the ability to hold that until 2.30. Yes. Here's your bullish trade. 27. I now we're, we're trading right at $60. So this yeah. is actually all premium. So I already know the bearish one's going to be the same exact price, right? Right. Um, we'll pull it up, but it better be. Five, As in 5.4 cents. Yeah. Five and a half cents. 27, I can already tell. 60 minus 73, you know, yeah. 60 minus 59, 73, 27, right? So you're looking at 54. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, till 2.30. And you got over a buck 50 because um, by 2.30, Oil could potentially move more than a dollar fifty, so right. it is nice to have you know over that level, um, with the IA coming at ten thirty on the dot, right? Particularly at this level. So yeah. let's let's pull up the uh, actual. So Go for it. If we take a look at this contract. What you're going to see here, folks, we we come out with these numbers last night, and the yesterday I believe we got the sixty thirty eight. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep. I believe so. Thirty nine is the high. Maybe it was thirty seven. What yeah, was 30, it? Sixty thirty eight. Yep. And thirty nine. Thirty nine is the high. Now, the way that I look at this is that, you know, yesterday you did push, you know, we had some good volume. That's 686,000 contracts. Okay. Going into 655. So that's telling me that it's going to test that even though it's a penny saying it wants to go up there. Now, we're going to sideways move out here today. So it's going to be interesting, man. The only thing I would say is that that's only, that's only 30, that's less than 40 pennies away from where we're at, right? Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. But, but my point is, is that. If you break this, this is okay. this is this. If you break this and with, with conviction, you can really go. Okay. You know. Okay. But guess what? This is what's stopping it in its tracks, right? That five dollar day down in oil. Which is sixty thirty four. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Down yeah. to fifty five eighty three. Right. You know. And that would barely cover your cost on the elevens or the noons. Yeah. If no, you thought you were going to face some. You know, and there's, there's, there's a seller there. There's yeah. There's a seller right there. Yeah. And, in most times, folks, when you're talking about a big move like that, that's a producer. You know, like imagine, yeah. you know, you got a nice big bathtub full of sure. oil. It's like, okay, I'll be happy with sixty dollars. How many yeah. do you want? You want to buy? Yeah. And they're selling forward in, in the market. This is the exact same thing as selling. You sell yes. forward in the market. You deliver to the market. Guess what? You're all set. Yes, for sure. You know? So let's see. Uh, this is the top live that they pull up on yeah. Bloomberg about ten minutes ahead of time. So let's see what they're looking for. Um, Something odd's been happening in Cushing, Oklahoma. We saw a big rally in WTI spreads this week, and the June-December spread even moved into backwardation. Despite more than 46 million barrels of oil in tanks, inventories have been drawing this month, which is counter-seasonal, given refinery maintenance season. Traders are whispering quality issues, let's see, quality issues gain related to how much deliverable are WTI is available. Right, interesting. Yeah. This is going to be an important area to watch in the coming weeks. So that's saying that, yeah, you have the oil, but how much can you actually deliver the oil that's ready to be 
Yeah. Basically, and the, after the process. The next that's, one, that's, the next that's one, where the quality issue yes. comes in. Yeah. And the next one speaks to it too, and that's what's so cool about commodities. There is such a fundamental aspect to this, right. you know, oh, where yeah. because we spent much of this past week watching the ITC chemical tank fire, oh, as yeah. you saw, that's right? I mean, amazing. Yeah. And uh, the reignition and contamination of the Houston ship channel, the closure of the ship channel, likely affecting refineries. Um, I expect to see impact divided between today's report and next week's data. Um, that's going to, you know, you can't oh, get ships through the channel with the oil, right? It's, right. it's, uh, right. that's, that's going to affect this number. Now, granted, and there, there we go, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. More on the ITC fire from last week. There could be a lot of noise in the import-export figures, too, given how many terminals had to shut. That may cause a backup of crude in the Gulf Coast, where we are expecting roughly double the volumes of what we import. Yeah, quite a fire, man, and those chemical fires, not an easy thing to uh, no. to put out, okay. as, as yeah. you see. No doubt. Yeah. So, we get uh, six minutes. We'll see yeah. where those babies going. Let's just check back. I'm curious if we're still sitting right at that $60 mark as we come in. Yeah, it's just hanging right there, waiting for those numbers. We'll check. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is trading up 64. NASDAQ is uh, flat. S&P's up four. And crude inventories rose 2.8 million barrels. So let's see what uh, that's doing for the market. You got it. And we were looking, for, of course, for a decline. Yeah. That's the median analyst estimate, jumping back to the platform. Nonetheless, so it looks like you did have an immediate spike from 10, the 1025 bar to the 1030, where it gapped lower, right, and opened at 59.86. So you got a 14 cent gap on like literally the second in between the bars. Yeah. Uh, but we're right back at $60, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shake pretty, it off, man. Shake wild. it off. Okay. Um, and of course, you know, you should have, we were looking for a decline. We now have more, like four million more than yeah. the estimate in this. So you got all that extra oil. People should be paying lower prices for the same amount. Yeah. Supply equals demand, right? Economics of the yield, the curves. Uh, but nonetheless, man, oil looking for higher prices, fifty nine ninety six, and making um, any of those trades. The last thing you want is sixty dollars. Is that your max pain total loss of uh, the investment on either side? But. We're a minute into the news, yeah. and I would expect we're going to get a little volatility in both sides of it. So there's the breakdown. We see a surplus, 2.8 million barrels. Median estimate had been a decline of about 2.5 million barrels. Cushing was up 541,000. Pad 3 was up 4.5 million barrels. Gasoline, pretty close. Looking for a decline of 3 million, came in at minus 2.8 million. Distillates, a million off, but a decline of 2 versus a decline of 1. Um, Still cold out there. And so not, and here's then. part of what we're reading, right? Refinery utilization. Yeah. A big miss. They were looking for a plus 0.5. You get a decline of 2.3. Um, and I wonder how we see kind of the analysis of this because, you know, what we, what we saw down here ahead of the news when they were talking about what we're looking for. Um, let's see. We're down... We'll find it. But they were talking about those right? refineries maybe yes. being closed or even getting the oil to those refineries, et cetera. Um, but it looks like uh, plenty of oil, man. Let's check back on oil. Okay. Oh, there he goes. There we go. So uh, that five-minute bar that we were looking at got us back up, right, the high 60.04. Yeah. And then we actually finished that out, closing out that bar at 59.69, so 30 cents. And uh, we're sitting 59.78. To recap, if you're going to do those volatility trades, you're the noon, cost you about $30. I believe you had the, uh, excuse me, the 11 a.m. cost you $30. The noon was about 40 Yeah. And uh, if you wanted to go all the way until 2 30 with the $5, it was going to be about 54 cents away from 60 bucks that you would need. So you need more than 20 That's You know what I mean? As in, we haven't quite got a move. It's pretty wild that's for a still big mess oscillating like that. around this the $60 level, man. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's a big number. And, of course, what's going to happen before we know it is that, uh, guess what? You're going to get back into driving season. Uh, so oil should have uh, the wind that's its back, it's back, you know, coming into, uh, what, two months is May, right? April, May? Yeah. April. Yeah. Well, April's Monday, so it's My almost God. Friday. Yeah. Exactly. It's almost and like so, one month, yeah. Uh, you know, May 30th uh, in the gasoline market is the beginning of the driving season until basically August 15th or something. So. so just some of the analysis out here in terms of the refinery runs we were talking about took a tumble at a time when they have typically started to creep higher after seasonal maintenance. So they must get in that maintenance right after the yeah. refineries go crazy thanks to a spate of fires and other upsets the gulf coast was especially hit hard with crude demand down 294,000 barrels a day, a day. Uh, that may have contributed to the 4.6 million barrel increase in crude stocks in the region that's a monster that is um, yeah and that's what, so you know refineries aren't running right you, you got all the crude 
and you just got to leave it in crude. It becomes a crude surplus because you can't get into gasoline. There you go. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow up eight. NASDAQ is down 11. S&P's off one and a half. Come right back. Outside, yeah. Let's find out what's happened with oil before we. That's uh, right. So 59.75. Okay. Only a quarter move okay. on on quite a miss, but yeah. we'll see, man. The day is young. We'll see. Stay right there, folks. We got fast market coming up next, and of course we got our man Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Well, go get him, folks.